We'll see you next week. What did I could do for you, son? Forgive me, father. I killed a man. T tonight, back at the restaurant, Lorenzo, he, he confronted me and it, it all went wrong. About? I wasn't being honest with them. Who? The mob. I was stealing money from them from the pantry and... Does anyone know of this? No. Pray that your sins could be forgiven. I can. I've killed a man, plus... I think God's gonna hear my prayers. Vincent. We have a sister Ishan. Lorenzo. He's there. Oh, Detective Moretti, your victim's over here. We don't got much on motive, but uh, it's definitely tied to the mob. Looks like he was strangled to death. Lorenzo. Well, at least you didn't compromise the integrity of the scene this time. All right, I'll take it from here. You get your boys and you tell them don't touch anything. Yes, sir. Hey, what's he? Oh, uh, he came in for a shift. He's, uh, one of them found the body and called it in. This is, uh, Detective Moretti. He's gonna ask you a couple questions, right? So, maybe you can help me piece this together here. Who is that man in there? And what happened here? When I left last night, it was just me and the chef. He 
He was closing shop as always. And the chef? Does he have a name? Michael. Michael Mentori. Explain to me, why do we have a dead body in your restaurant? It all went wrong. I was in the pantry and when I came out, Lorenzo was staring at me. I got scared of me. I always get scared of ones who comes to check us up on me. Mm, how did he end up dead? It all went wrong. I I'm not a murderer. Canis can him at it. Excuse me? Yeah, never mind. All right, this is normally the part where I'd ask where the motive came from, but what this looks like is a case of self-defense. I don't need to know why you killed him. I just need to know that it was a life or death situation. You know what? Wait here. I'll go push the paperwork through, and when I get back, we'll have you on your way. Take this call if you don't mind. The car's towards the back. <laughs> 